Hi! I need a shave, do I? No, actually. It's probably at least a week until I shave, but I'll probably just shave before Christmas. Anyway, uh, I guess I just kind of want to start this off by saying, Sorry! Yeah, this year's Advent Calendars, I feel like I'm not really making very interesting. Sometimes, like, the talk to Transformer thing, that, that sentence autocompleter, that's always been a good laugh. But a lot of the that CBBC stuff, and I guess opening the advent calendars in general, um, I feel like I haven't been quite, I don't know what the word, I guess enthusiastic about it, but I don't know, it's not so much enthusiasm, it's I just don't really have the energy for vlogging anymore, I guess, or at least at the moment, because... Well, I mean, I guess it's probably largely because this this year, especially towards the end, has been a bit dodgy for me personally, for various reasons that I won't go into. But yeah, sorry. But but at least the Christmas specials over on Piece of Pie Software have been some some good ones, I reckon. And they're only about to get worse. What worse? Better? What? How do you say worse instead of better? I don't know. Where's that pond? Where's that pond? Where is that ponce? Oh well. Anyway. Anyway, let's get to the door. I guess I'll try. Well, actually, I mean, I guess it's probably largely because I usually record these when I'm not alone in the house. You know. So, so I'm not going to be all like, <laughs> oh, oh. Is that Derpethus's malformed brother? What? It's sexy. It's a slith serakai, or just a slith, slith, from a vernum. Seventeen. Yobba bomb. Oh, I guess another reason is partly because it's the same advent calendar as last year, so... You know, it's a rerun. Yeah, I guess there's a few different... A few different things that are causing it to be a bit of a... Maybe a less interesting year for advent calendars. But I hope they've been enjoyable anyway. And there we go, we've got a column. A great column of Rome. We are on 17, right? Yeah, here we are. Whoop. That is Santa, that is. I don't even have to look at the other ones. I can just tell that bloke anywhere. Look, it's exactly the same shape. Oh, don't put it on the bed, it's been slept in. No, it's just a beard with a melted face. I can very slightly make out with Santa. So you can very slightly make out that it's him. But it's an imposter. Yum. So eat him. It's imposter Santa. Ah. Blurry day software. So I'm sorry. Ah. So, I, I don't know. We'll leave it up to the editor to decide if I get that point or not. Imposter or no, it's still Santa. Welcome to the CBBC it's It's too much, I tell it's ya. And the I just can't get used to it. I can't get over it either. Next. Who tested this and thought it was good to go? It's the deep. It's the deep. The what? The deep. Get ready for wintry, watery fun with the deep. Come back tomorrow and find out what other treats CBBC have in store. No. I guess it, what the hell is that? It's a candy cane shrimp. I guess it also another thing is just like these um, CBBC things haven't been all that great a lot of the time. 
Like, they're not really so much games as they are just little activities that aren't really all that interesting, usually. Whereas most years I try to put in some little flash games, don't I? Or something. Well, this time we're going to have Christmas music in the background because these don't have sound. Christmas Kraken's festive fish. Which of these festive fish are real? Angel shark. Oh yeah, that definitely looks real, that does. Well, God, what an idiot. What do you mean false? What do you mean wrong? Oh, that's what it actually looks like, so it was a trick question. It does exist, but the picture was fake. God, it's true, the angel shark has a long and flat body which can easily be mistaken for a ray and feeds off the seabed. Well, the one you showed also didn't have a long flat body, so... It just looked like a normal shark with a halo and stuff put on. Now you see, that's more like it. Christmas Kraken. Sure. Oh. Wrong. This festive fish is fiction. It's not a fish. It's a Kraken. Rudolph Crab? Okay, that's gotta be fake. Because it wouldn't be called a Rudolph cra Crab, would it? It would just be called a Deer Crab or something. Yeah. Oh, look how clever I am. This festive fish is fiction. It's not a fish, it's a crustacean. Teaching kids very wrong. Christmas tree worm. I don't know about that one. I reckon that's true. Yeah. What the hell? That was completely different from what you showed. What a twat game. The Christmas tree worm is real. They are usually brightly coloured and live on coral. CORAL! And their hair-like frills are used to breathe and catch food like microscopic plants. Or phytoplankton. Something. Floating in the water. Snowflake moray eel. Hmm. Don't know if it would be called that. Oh! Why is it called snowflake? It's yellow! It doesn't rain yellow snow. It's true. This eel is also known as a clouded moray, diamond-backed eel, or starry eel. How many bloody names do you need for one creature? All because of the yellow and black markings along its body. So yeah, why snowflake? That's the most unfitting of each name. Holly coral. I reckon, yeah. Oh. This festive fish is fiction. It's not a fish, it's coral. It's a plant. Sea angel. That's a mermaid. What the hell? It looks like a bloody brain cat. Or a arse. Or a jelly penis with a massive head. It's true, the sea angel is a very small type of sea slug with a mostly transparent body. That's cool actually, I like that one. They are also found in many different climates, from tropic seas to polar regions. Oh. Snowy Stingray. I don't know, that sounds like a rubbish name. It's festive fish is fiction. Should be called Spotted Ray. Candy Cane Shrimp. Sure. Oh. I guess at least that one looks like a candy cane. It's true, the candy cane shrimp is also known as pistol shrimp. What? The candy cane shrimp is also known as pistol shrimp gets its name from its brightly coloured red and white stripes. Bad wording there. Just like the chief typo in the previous video that, that was pointed out. I didn't point it out because I didn't notice it at first. What's that? Bauble fish. I reckon yes. Oh. That was crap. Not bad. They maybe brush up on some more fishy facts to get full marks. No. That was naff. So just for a bit of extra stuff here, remember that prompt from last time that wouldn't finish? And I asked you to finish for me and share your results? Let's finally find out what I get. I don't want to start a philosophy thing here, but one thing that seems to me to define Santa Claus... Let's finally, finally get 
my definition of Santa Claus, what do I get? We had some very interesting ones. Seems to me that the the one thing that seems to me to define Santa Claus is that even though he looks kind of human and has ki a kind of demeanor that is a lot like ours, what? You know, just like us, his hair is not always the same color, you know? It's played or played striped, you know? <laughs> what is this? Raging from Final Fantasy VIII, you know? But the thing is, the thing that is perhaps one of the most interesting things about Santa Claus is that he is a great deal like us. He's got this big beard and this wide brim. Well, I guess that's probably one of the more normal definitions we've had. At least he didn't have a billion eyes, like one of you got. Bloody hell. I want another one, that wasn't funny enough. To find Santa and also the Christian religion is that he's the middle finger. <laughs> He's the middle finger to the Jews. <laughs> what? But Jesus says that in no way was I perfect, and that in order for me to be perfect, I would have to come to terms with my sins. If I wanted to do this, then I could have that message wrapped up, uh, uh, wrapped in what seems like a rather blunt message that is only a bit, bit flavory. Flowery. It's a good job I'm not doing this properly today, because I can't read. I think the idea is you have to keep on doing what you do. This is why. Go on then, let's find out why. This is why. Why they're doing this, or why they have to do this. That's not what the road home is about. The road home is not a marathon. It's not about walking or running, it's about fixing the problems people encounter. That's what the book is. Why? Because this isn't your ordinary approach to a problem. This is personal. This is person to person. Whatever. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all. One month of Alice in Wonderland has finally arrived. What? Chris... On March 1st, 2016, Chris Duncan, an artist from San Francisco, California, took to his website and started tweeting his character from the dark story of Wonderland. To date, 6,400 people from 71 countries have signed up to follow his adventures as he attempts to escape the clutches of the terrible King Arthur. The curious, wonderful story of at Chris Duncan, who has come from 51 plus countries to follow the adventure as whatever. That makes no sense at all. Uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching today's Advent Calendars. Um, see you tomorrow for the next one. I hope you're enjoying so far, and the Christmas specials on Pizza Pie Software. Happy Holidays! See you soon. And just for the end of the video here... Who's this? Oh, hello? Who's that? Hi, it's Reptiloid. Go on then. Go on what? I don't Was know. Was I supposed to say something? Yeah, we talked about this. We scripted oh. it. Oh. God. Well, I don't have a memory. You can't give me a script. We didn't, actually. Hi. Mishy's gone shy. Oh. Oh, hi. Do you both have a Christmas message for YouTube? Uh, yeah. Play Rage 2. It's a good game. No, uh... Merry Christmas, everyone. Hope you have a great time. Get lots of good gifts and have good food. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Mishy's message is yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.